what defines a woman is her femininity. But not every woman gets groomed into being a fully functioning feminine woman. Others learn how to be feminine as they come of age. Others just don't want anything to do with the feminine energy. They are the women of interest in this video. They are the highly masculine women. Being masculine is not entirely their fault. Their upbringing played a major role in putting them in their present predicament. Girls who are raised by single parents especially fathers with no mother figure often turn out to be more masculine. They copy from them the ways of men, especially the protective, fearless, and bold traits. By watching and mimicking their parents they get sucked into the men's world and forget that they are women and are supposed to act and behave accordingly. Instead, they suppress their feminine energy and take on the aggressive masculine energies of men. Toxic feminism, Hollywood indoctrination, and single mom vibes also play a vital role in turning young innocent girls into overly demanding masculine women because they are taught to look down on men and their femininity because feminism makes them weak. If you were raised by a single parent, chances are you will have or used to have one or all of the following signs of a highly masculine woman. 1. Very aggressive. It's a good thing to be aggressive, but being too aggressive for a woman is kind of off-putting. Women are supposed to be gentle spirits, comforters, and healers with their feminine energies. The feminine energy in them is supposed to unite and heal people and not scare them away. Aggressiveness is a man's thing. Men are aggressive by nature because of the male sex hormone testosterone, which is responsible for male dominance. Very aggressive women turn to be domineering and are attracted to less dominant men who will simp for them. Men and women avoid aggressive women because they seem to have lost the kindred spirit of the feminine woman. 2. Unapproachable. Highly masculine women are unapproachable. They scare the hell out of men and women alike. Men have a hard time talking to them because they don't let them. They hardly smile, nor do they welcome people with a friendly body language. They approach people with a stiff, rigid, and close body language. They always look serious, ready, and tough with their tender side tucked away. They always look like Navy SEALs preparing for combat, constantly looking over their shoulders and trusting no one. The true feminine woman drops her guard when she is around the people she trusts and cares about. They know it's a man's job to worry about protecting his family while the woman focuses on nurturing her family. 3. Uncoachable. Masculine women are know-it-all women. They know everything to the point where there is no room for improvement. They are headstrong, adamant to change, and dislike being told what to do. They talk a lot and enjoy cutting people midway through conversations. In conversation, you only hear their voices as they talk on top of their voice and want everyone to listen to them and not the other way around. 4. Almost always single. Being a woman with masculine energies is an unpleasant experience. Instead of attracting you repel people away. Men can't vibe with you because technically you act and sound like a man in disguise. Even women can't bond with you that much because they can't feel your vibes. Your energy is just too strong for them. It is difficult for highly masculine women to make friends. They are almost always single and lonely. This loneliness sometimes adds to their aggressive nature. 5. Competing against men. Instead of seeing men as partners. Highly masculine women view men as competitors. They spend a good chunk of their time challenging and giving men hard times. Instead of being submissive and loyal to the man, masculine women see it as a weakness and expect men to be submissive and loyal to them instead. They seem to have forgotten the value and place of the woman in the society. They love to challenge men and don't know when to back down from a fight to protect the man's ego. They like to argue with men. Call them out anywhere and anyhow even in front of their friends. The ways of the masculine woman are not entirely her fault. But the irony here is that for a woman to be that successful in a man's world she needs some attributes of the masculine woman.